Hello everyone, in this video we will be discussing on the addressing modes of 8086 microprocessor. What are the different addressing modes and how these addressing modes will be uh, working out and um, how you can address a memory location in 8086 so we will be discussing in this video. Let's start with this one. Uh, this is the objective of the video. Uh, the objective of this lecture is to discuss on the various addressing modes of 8086 microprocessor. So we will be discussing all the different uh, types of addressing modes of 8086 microprocessor. We shall start our discussion by describing about uh, what is an uh, addressing mode, the definition of an addressing mode. So the definition of an addressing mode is the way of specifying a data to be operated by an instruction is known as addressing modes. The way how you specify a data that is called as an addressing mode. So this uh, will be specifying the given data is an uh, immediate data or it is an address where uh, it is stored into the memory. How you will be collecting the data, your uh, data is available in the register or in a register pair. Like that way this would be defined. Addressing mode indicates the way of locating data or operands. That would be the thing. So we will start the first addressing mode which is an uh, immediate addressing mode. In this immediate addressing mode, how we will specify a data value over here that would be discussed in this. So first of all coming to the immediate addressing mode. In the immediate addressing mode, you will be having an uh, immediate value given over here like this. So we, uh, the example is move ax comma 005. 005 is the immediate value where uh, this value is moved into the AX. So the destination would be your register or memory location compulsory. It should not be an immediate value. The source is an immediate value. Whether you go for add instruction or move instruction or an XR instruction, whatever it is there. So this is okay. The move CL comma 09, 8 bit data is moved over here. And then XR ex comma so you are going for xor operation with 0 0 h hexadecimal value so that is also an immediate addressing mode add bx comma 0 0 a is also an immediate addressing mode so now when you go for this one move 77 7 comma al this is an invalid uh, addressing mode we can't have this one so this type of addressing mode uh, where the data immediate value is being stored into the memory we call it as a immediate addressing mode. So where you are having an immediate value into the um, you will be having an immediate value over here. So this type of addressing is called as an immediate addressing mode. So one more thing is important over here in all these addressing modes, both source and destination should be of same type. The next one is direct addressing mode. In the direct addressing mode, you will be having uh, you will be specifying enough. Uh, memory location where the data is uh, resided we will be collecting the data from that memory location and we will going for the performing the operation so when you go for uh, the first exam move ax comma uh, within the brackets i have given it as uh, I given over here as 500h now this is the memory address 500h it will go to the memory address 500h so roughly we have taken over here in the 500h you would be having an value called as 77 now in the 500 h and 1 you are having an value as 44 so these two values because ax is a 16 bit value so this 16 bit content will be copied from the two memory locations because each location is of eight bits so that is the reason you can do now we can take the second case second case to al comma 9000 h when you give this one it will take only one value because uh, destination register is what s1 now, wait for the third example. Now, let's see what happens in the third example. In the third example, we are giving it as add and 1, 2, 3, 4 within the brackets represents memory address. So, it will go to the memory address 1, 2, 3, 4 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Sorry, 1, 2, 3, 5. So, it will take a value from 1, to 1, 2, 3, 4 and 1, 2, 3, 5. It will take these two values. It adds is the PX. And the result is stored in what? Again into this location. 1, 2, 3, 4 would be holding uh, the lower byte, and 1, 2, 3, 5 would be holding higher one. So this would be the memory address of how these values would be stored in. So the 
plans are getting the application. So this type of addressing is called as an direct addressing mode where the memory address is being given in the instruction. So this is an direct addressing mode. Next comes is an register addressing mode. Register like the addressing mode is quite simple over here. Both source and destination are the registers specified. Source and destination will be compulsory and register. Then it is called as a register addressing mode. For example, move VX comma AX. So here AX is the resistant data register, AX is the resistant data register. The content of AX is being moved into the VX band. So this a type of addressing mode is called as an what? This type of addressing mode we say it as register addressing mode. So here in this register addressing mode, one important point we need to take into consideration is um, you can't have one of the register as 8 bit register, the other register as 16 bit register. Both these cases, these two cases are completely wrong. These are not actually correct one. So when you take this one, move BX from it, both are 16 bit, subtract BL comma CL, both are 8 bit, add CL comma CL. Okay, fine. Even though the same register, both are same. Um, same value and uh, same type of registers x or dx comma dx so this is possible and uh, these type of instructions are possible where they are having similar uh, registers also but one thing uh, you should take into consideration is that one of the register is 16 bit the other register is uh, 8 bit you can't move a data from 8 bit to 16 bit or 16 bit so this type of uh, is called as invalid and the addressing mode where both on source and destination are the register it is called as an uh, Register addressing. Next one is register indirect addressing mode. Indirect addressing mode is nothing new. The addressing mode where the, the memory address is stored in the register. So it will go to that memory address where the register value is being then specify the memory address. It will take that value uh, first of all the value and it will be doing the operation accordingly. So for example, the one instruction is being given over here. What is the instruction? Move AX comma within the brackets BX. Now BX is the memory address. BX is the memory address. So what it does is that it will go to the memory address by checking the value BX. Suppose BX value is 2000. It will go to the 2000. There, suppose 88 is there in the 2000. It will take that one and it will copy it into the AL. And it will take the next byte, BX plus 1. So BX is what 2000, 2000 plus 1 location it will go and it will take the value which is equal to 99 and it copies into the PX. Like this way, uh, it will copy the PL and um, sorry, two memory locations in the PX. So this type of addressing mode where the uh, immediate uh, value is not being given, it is a direct memory address is not given, but an uh, Offset address is being stored into the memory register that is called as an register internal addressing mode. So this is the one of the examples, but here we need to take into consideration that the memory uh, the memory address is of 16 bit. If you are having any 8 bit register, it is invalid. So this is an register internal addressing mode. The next one is index addressing mode. In the index addressing mode, uh, we'll be making use of the index registers like uh, SI and DA index register to specify the memory address in the data segment or extra segment or whatever it is there. So like this way, for example, we have given a value like move AX comma square brackets of SI. Within the square brackets are representing uh, SI, which means that the contents of SI would be the memory location where it will take the data and it will be stored into the KX register. So what we are doing is that we are taking a value from uh, SI value is suppose is 1000. So it will go to the 1000 address and it will take a value and it will store it into the AL. And then uh, 1000 and 1 it will take a value and it will store it to Like that, it will be two memory locations, it will be copied. Suppose if I give instead of uh, this one, move AX comma contents of SI, if I give an in something like uh, add uh, DI comma BX, one more example we had uh, shown over here. So what happens over here is that it will the contents di location and di plus one two values it will take it up and it will add with the uh, bx and the result is stored in one di plus one and di plus di and di the same moment location and, uh, here the register which you are using for addition or moving or whatever it is there if it is 8 bit 
only one content will be copied or one content will be added. Suppose for example, we are giving an instruction as add di comma here. Then only one value, di value. I mean, say di moment recognition will take a value and it will form the value. Say it will add with the di content. But the result is stored in the di location. This is about the interesting part. Then we are having after index address invert. Next comes is uh, register relative address invert. Here, a register relative in the sense, if you have a uh, specifying one register, which would be in the memory location where it will take a value from there. But uh, obviously, along with this one, uh, this is the register. Like, let's take uh, this uh, BX one. This is a constant value that we have in the register. That is the value that we draw on the if we give this value like 2 x comma 5000 comma uh, 5000 within brackets of bx so what we mean that the content of bx is added with the uh, direct value so displacement value which is equal to 5000 has been added to the bx and the value is equal to suppose there may be a bx for the 2 5000 which is 7000 which is not we know that we make the data into the store we can take the data from there and it will copy or it will go to the AX register. Similarly, if I give it a power here, if this displacement can be LD, it will be a 16 bit or 8 bit. In case there is a place of conversion wrong over here, if you are having an 8 bit or 16 bit displacement. So, this type of addressing we call as an register relative addressing mode. Next comes is uh, base index. You will be having base registers and as well as using of it register. So, the addressing mode which makes a what we have incorporate each registers and each register in a specifying memory address is called as a base index addressing mode. So, this is called as a base index addressing mode. If you can find the base register and index register, it is called as a base register addressing mode. Likewise, we will be having a more uh, addressing mode which is equal to Relative based index mean to say you will be having one relative or that is a displacement value along with this displacement value, you will be having the base register and index register. So, here the base register would be having one value, index register would be having one value, these two values would be added, and the displacement would be added to get the effective value where the data is recited into the data segment. From there it will take a value and it moves into the AX system. So, this type of addressing is called as a relative index addressing mode. Relative based under the addressing mode. And next one is implied addressing mode where you won't have any source we don't have destination in the instruction. It is a fixed is a source and fixed destination. Then that type of addressing mode is called as an implied addressing mode or implicit addressing mode. For example, if you go for this one CPW change by to word. So what it does is that it will take the it will take the contents of A and MSB bit is been the sign bit we are saying. This sign bit has been copied into the higher 8 bits of the AX register. So overall here AX register would be uh, converted into I AX which is there uh, the I register is been into the 16 bit register by adding up the R ones or zeros which is the sign bit is there those sign bit is been uh, put up into the next order higher index so this type of addressing we say it as an uh, uh, implied addressing mode next comes is uh, the types we are having for uh, different types of addressing mode in, the, in category of data when you are referring to the data or in branch category these are the total 12 addressing modes which uh, we, we are designating so, the number one is implied, uh, immediate, direct, direct, register, index, register, index, register, relative, uh, base index, relative, base index. All these addressing ones we have discussed. Along to the branch category, we are having intra segment direct, in, intra segment indirect, intra segment direct, intra segment indirect. Okay. This is uh, not much, uh, we are not used in your uh, small programming. So, we are having a uh, complex programming suite so for this. So, on this completion of this lecture, so you are able to interpret the use of addressing modes uh, of 8086. Thank you for watching this video.